watch on mobile devices or the big screen, all for free. No subscription required. Download Beely now. Us Brits spent an eye watering £45 billion going on holiday last year. The anticipation of those two weeks in the sun make the other 50 bearable, just about. Those 14 nights on the beach get us through everything, from the bone-chilling damp to the improved rail timetables. They even make your insufferable boss sufferable. For two weeks a year, we get to forget, if we can, about the daily grind and the pressures of life. It's time to relax, put down our screens and interact with our friends and family. The pool or the Xbox? Xbox. Oh, still. With 16 million of us heading to Spain for sun, sea and more booze than a pantomime villain, the love affair that began in the 70s is still very much alive. To be honest, I've probably met more Brits at it than I have Spanish. And for most of us, the two-week package deal during the summer holidays is still king of the sandcastle. Families, lads on the lash, romantic couples and screaming kids. <laughs> Running together to share the pool, sun lounges and the odd veruca, it's a petri dish of Britain, bacteria and all. It's a chance to try something new. Thank There's only you. one thing I won't eat you there. Elephants. Do something stupid that you can regret forever. We woke up with matching tattoos on our bums the night after the gay bar. Why have I got glitter on my bum cheek? Or just get blind drunk and try your luck. I will go out, right, and I will get any girl that I want, because I am, in my eyes, I am unreal. Join us for the full Brits Abroad experience. Find out just why we still love our Spanish holes and the truth about those special two weeks as we go inside the secret world of the holiday resort. <music> Nearly one third of us opted for large resorts on all-inclusive packages last year. Two hours from Barcelona, nestled on the golden sands of the Costa Brava, is the Hotel Guitart in Lorette de Mar, where 250 staff cope with over 2,000 guests, ploughing through 1.2 tonnes of bacon, 7,000 pints of beer, and over 500 bottles of spirits each week. 60,000 guests pass through every year, determined to make the most of their all-inclusive experience. Let's see who's checking in this week. Down by the bottom pool, there is a big family from Bolton. I'm glad the sun's come back out. Meet sisters Laura and Hannah, who are here with their broods, partners and mother, and are enjoying a little chinwag. Beer. Yeah, we're we're Aside from minor tanning panics, they're busy planning the day ahead. We'll have a walk, huh? We'll have a walk out. Get yeah. Fits. Go back, get changed, get our meal, and then just have a few drinks then. Yeah. But the drinks are going to have to wait because they're going to have to deal with the kids first. Oh, you're perfect. You've got coming out. I know. No. 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 Over there in the water, please. Albeit from the comfort of their sun lounges. Don't wind ye, morning myrtle, or like Harry Potter. Yeah, bad. Stop being a big baby. Yes, like Laura and Hannah, the summer holiday means being stuck together with the family for much longer than we're used to. Listen, listen, listen to me. So sometimes, we probably wish we'd left the family at home. I don't know. <laughs> Morning till night, always whinging. <laughs> we don't really get along. She annoys me. Charlie looks after her some of the time. Yeah. <laughs> but most of the time, they're kind of squabble. But they're proper brother and sister, where, you know. Sometimes he's a bit annoying because he gets what he wants. We fight and get on each other's nerves. Happened today as well. I was blocking the way from the fridge and she kept slapping me for some reason. 
Should we find it weird? So, like, you're here with me instead of your ex. <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah. Not in a horrible way, but, yeah, it would definitely be more chilled. chilled. Yeah. When we're drunk, we're a little bit. <laughs> but apart from that, yeah, but, yeah it's probably because, you know, we're probably getting tired, getting tired, and the alcohol's just taking a little bit of a toll on us. No. Yes. No. I have another 12. So we spend a lot of time together. We're sort of used to it. I think with, with it being so long, we'd sort of have a chat for a bit, earphones, music, take it out, have a chat for a bit so we didn't get too tired of each other. Mum and Dad get involved and everybody's a bit like, whoa. It's generally suppressed and dealt with very quickly. And then we have to go to bed. <laughs> Bedding down together in one room as a family might save us a few bob, but it has its drawbacks. <laughs> That's what you sound like most of the time. Therefore, I'm slow. I don't. I do not slow. Yeah. I don't. I don't. Not my wrist. <laughs> not like that. <laughs> she farts. <laughs> <laughs> my son and my daughter-in-law and the three children are in a room slightly smaller. And, of course, in the other half, they've got three beds that are folded out. Not ideal, in my opinion. So it's no wonder that every now and then, tempers get a little frayed. In fact, nearly half of us row on the first day of our holiday. Well, my mum and Matthew, they've had an argument. Apparently, Matthew wanted to finish my mum on holiday. Yeah. We did. Yeah. He wanted to finish me yeah. on holiday. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone has their arguments, don't they? <laughs> Things can happen. You drink yeah. more than you should do in the sun, yeah. uh, the, the rooms are hot, you're trying to get ready and you're running around. So, in order to keep ourselves in check and ensure set twos are at a minimum, there are a few rules that we can follow. Here's Kurt and Lizzie's guide. We do like a, like a hunger check. Like if we start to get grumpy with each other, it's like, are we hungry? Yes. Let's eat you're and we'll hungry be fine. First are we tired? Food. OK, let's go to bed and we'll deal with this in the morning. Then we're fine. family that could do with that advice is this lot. Eating yet again. <laughs> Matt and his girlfriend Darcy, who are from Bradford, are here with Matt's kids and Matt's brother's kids. That's five kids in total. <laughs> and zero peace and quiet. There's always a drama going on. Always a drama. Yeah. When we're apart, we miss each other, and when we're together, we hate each other. We expected little bits, but... Wow. Come on, Matt. It wouldn't be a family holiday without a few rows, would it? It's like little tit-for-tat stuff. One night while she was sleeping, I cut her hair, and the next night she shaved a patch out of mine. One time wrestling, Lucy Kit started in the no-nos. Lucy started crying, so I had your weed on him. And then Dad were like, why are you crying? I'm the one getting weed on. <laughs> When it's not waterworks in the pool, it's waterworks in the apartment. My dad flooded the bathroom. I hope that's not the wee from earlier. Whatever. Ha! Having only just made the flights, school friends from Croydon, Mish, Olivia, Grace and Marie, have arrived at the resort and are checking in with a giant inflatable pizza. Literally. Literally. Hi, can we check in, please? I don't work here. Room sorted, they head to the pool to soak it all in. Literally. <laughs> Literally. Oh, we had a mini photo shoot. Yeah, we had a little mini photo shoot, taking lots of pictures, building memories. Because you're not going to be here long. You're trying to build so much memories in one day, and it's a memory for a lifetime. Literally. Capturing every moment for posterity. We've just been getting the pictures, you know, to um, upset people again on our social medias, you know. <laughs> or just to rub other people's noses in it. Literally. Some lit pictures, let's put it as that, cos that, the <laughs> word I want to say, I don't know if I can say it, but, yeah, I got, got some good fuck-off bits, you know. Yeah. <laughs> if there's a water slide, they've got three different pools, they've got a spa, Pre is at here now. <laughs> it's all inclusive: breakfast, lunch, and dinner, drinks, cocktails, cocktails. <laughs> like you know, what's what's your Friday looking like? <laughs> See. <laughs>
Yes, like all young people, they are obsessed with showing everyone else just how brilliant their lives are. Literally. Photo shoots and lip picks sorted, it's time to get some pool action. <laughs> Michelle's super caring, yeah, but then some people, but sometimes, yeah, because she's got a resting bitch face most of the time, it can come across as like, oh, yeah. she's a bit of a snob, but she's. She's all right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Olivia will be the one to keep on drinking and stay up majority of the night. Guilty as charged. <laughs> the girls are determined to have fun and make a big splash. One, two, three. For a second there, I, did, I actually didn't know what to choose, whether Literally. it was my wig or my life. But <laughs> chat, Olivia jumped in and she got me. So. Yeah. Thankfully, both Mish and Wig are saved. What a relief. The girls can now enjoy the full hilarity of what has just happened. <laughs> and it's totes jokes. Spanish beer, Spanish food, we can get that anywhere. But the one Spanish thing we can't get is the sun. As soon as the sun's out, I'm off. Walking to the pool, melting in the sun, sweating the vodka out, yeah. starting again. Pretty much. But the major drawback is our famous British complexion, whiter than a snowman drinking milk. When he ar uh, with the arrives, white. Later, red. Here are James and Niall from Oxford in a matching skin and T-shirt combo. This white but I'm not doing it again, that hurts too much. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe half a day's exposure. <laughs> I don't burn, I just tan. She's snow white, can't you see? A lot of lobsters, a lot of lobsters about. Yeah, I'm a half Irish, so, you know, I'm not, we're not used to the sun, really. You know, we get half an hour a year. I've got some in here, here, and in between there. I've been burnt, like, right down that ouch. I've, I've got some burnt here and at my back there. I got a little bit drunk and decided to fall asleep without putting any sun cream on. And I woke up four hours later with my back scars, in agony. Scars <laughs> and back and everything. My mum's got some burnt all over her back, and I think it's called peels. We've also learned that sun cream is sometimes a good idea. We Brits know we're supposed to use sun cream, but let's face it, it's not always top of our list. Sun cream getting stuck in it. Yeah. Oh, it rubs. It's like when you put sun cream on and you go in the pool and it all goes in your bags, you know? But sometimes needs must. I, I like the sun as well. I take a good time, but I've got to be careful with the hair. The lack of hair is... Uh, Certainly a downside when you're on holiday in the sun. So I usually factor 20 on the head for a couple of days. He has to be very careful, cos he will... If he's out in the sun for more than half an hour without sun cream, he will start to blister. There's a few guys that are ginger, and they take the sun a bit worse than most. You've got to have the buddy-buddy system, eh? If your mate wants cream on his back, it's... You've got to have cream in for a mate. Especially when you draw a big. <laughs> <laughs> That's been done twice a day. <laughs> <laughs> Sun cream, it's it's a, it's a word I don't really know much about. Um, I buy it and I don't use it. Um, so now it ends up looking like a lobster, which is not a good look. We all do it. 
We never learn. I never learn. It's got to be a British thing, it's got to be. What are you drinking? Rum. Rum and Coke? You naughty boy. I'm Tom. I'm 19, from London. Living that life, that London life. And I'm Flick. And I'm also 19. And we're best friends. What's your favourite Spanish word? <laughs> I think I know what yours is. I think yours is un saca punta. Yeah, I that love that. Yours, no, I just love that word. Oh, We've been friends about nine years. Yeah. I mean, it's sort of like when we were in year eight, we were in, say, Spanish class, and that's how I sort of actually got to know Flick. I know what she you're going to say. She was a nightmare. <laughs> she was a nightmare. I used to shout earthquake and then everyone would get under their tables. Like drop dead, all we of them. We used to say like, drop dead and literally all used to just drop on the floor. Like, and he's nightmare. sitting in the front of the class trying to learn. It was a nightmare. Running it was a nightmare around everywhere. Least. Just it was a bit of havoc in Spanish. She but was. I took it for GCSE. <laughs> and I guess we're in Spain now, so we must have liked it really. <laughs> you speak more than I do. Yeah, but pronunciation, I feel like none of us are bad. No. Not only did Tom and Flick like Spanish, they also like a drink. That we're <laughs> sensible and that we know our own limits. And, we, and when you know when to stop, you stop. We did end up in a um, backstreet gay bar. Oh God, I was terrified. And we were very scared, actually, because... There was the, just a, you, a white door that you have to buzz into When you know you have to, to press up. a buzzer to get into a bar, you know, I think you need to make a U-turn. You've lost, but we didn't make a U-turn. We woke up with matching tattoos on our bums. Don't put it like that. My mum's got to watch it. Does your arse hurt, babe? Are you sure? Yeah, I'm <laughs> Give us a look. You can show yours. Yours is higher no, up. I've got a really white backside right now. I mean, like white. Mine's mine's more central to the uh, to the crack. <laughs> <laughs> if someone's going to show, it's going to be yours. No, yours is I, I can't. Up. Why? No, I can't. Well, you just described it. I can't show my booty. Oh, go on, Tom. I've got an awful tan line. Just a peek. You're bad. I'm not going to fall for it. Please. No. I'll show you off. I'm going to try and hold some dignity. Show us the tattoos now. Yeah. Thank you. Show me. <laughs> oh, I might get one of those myself. Sorry, Mum. <laughs> and even when they're raining it in a bit, Tom and Flick still get carried away. We were in bed at oh, half yeah. past eight the other night and we stayed up till three o'clock in the morning playing Guess the Song. I can identify songs that were in the credits of Disney songs. She did. That I, was, I wasn't impressed with anything. And in the end of Beauty and the Beast, a new remake, they got a song at the end, and she was like, I know this. I said that, I was like, you're joking. By Dion. You are joking. And it's called, How Does a Moment Last Forever? But nothing lasts forever, even holidays of a lifetime. And Tom and Flick are jetting back to Blighty this evening. I would definitely say this has been like one of the best holidays though, that I've had. It's a good holiday. Yeah. Definitely would come here again. We didn't say that bit, did we? I wouldn't come, well, I wouldn't come back here again, no. I would. I think after we have a shower, we should go and have a last four drinks. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe five before we go home. We get to line up the bar with shots. Yeah. When you spend your day by the pool, there's no need to worry about what to do in the evening. It's flamenco night at the hotel, and Mish, Olivia, Grace, and Marie are very excited. The hotel um, told us about the flamingo um, that will be going on that evening, so we decided to attend. Is it me, or did she just say flamingo night? The girls make sure they capture the flamingo dancer. God, they've got me doing it now. The flamenco dancer to show their worldwide audience. Gotta let social media know that we're living our best life. You know, you're living your best life. Living. I'm living my best life. I thought Flamingo was more salsa, like so, a bit like soca, but more, you know, did a yeah, kazumba. Is it kazumba? Zumba. 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 Yeah, zumba, mm -hmm. like that. But um, I see they were doing all tap dancing it's and all very <laughs> disciplined and, and sharp. Yeah. Yeah. The culture-loving girls hit the dance floor to join the flamenco dancers. I love culture, different cultures. 
You know, on our phone, we have the emoji dancing. Yeah. <laughs> we saw that it. was emoji live. In real life. <laughs> that was emoji, Ooh. like real life emoji. So yeah. I loved it. Living our best life, we're living our best life. It's fun. Yeah. It's not something that, you know, at home, I wouldn't naturally go and start, let's go flamingo dancing. Yeah. But it was, it was nice to do something different. Than being inside especially, of a club. Yeah, yeah, especially being within the country as well, and it's like yeah. taking in the culture. culture. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Educating myself on the national dance. Yes. And the costumes are nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wouldn't wear it. It's Maybe too Halloween, heavy. but yeah. Yeah. Halloween. <laughs> you don't see them ruffles? Where you they go with it? Where you gonna wear she it? She said to? Halloween. I don't know. Spanish <laughs> wedding, isn't it? Huh? A Spanish wedding in the heat. You never know. It might, it might be a Spanish wedding in fucking Russia. That invite to the Spanish wedding in Russia is probably in the post now. Having loved the Spanish flamenco so much, the girls want to take on the local food. I want to taste more food. Spanish food. Yeah, yeah. Like paella. I've like never eaten nice that paella. before. Yeah. That'd be nice. I would like to try some Spanish Why culture you not... food. Now, I'm, trying to hit, I'm yeah. trying to hit them at Donald's. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm trying to experience what they oh, might be using. I like. want tapas. That, yeah, that's what I want to taste. Nice. That's on the menu for tapas. That would be nice. That would be nice. Yeah, you there's like only it. one thing I won't eat, you know. Um, I think I'll try everything, but... Elephants. Snake, hippo, elephant. Cats. Cats. Yeah, yeah, cat, cat, cat too, yeah. That poor chef, he's been preparing that elephant stroganoff all day. Being on holiday is hard work, especially with kids. And for the harassed parents who just want to relax and have a tipple or two or three, the endless kids' entertainment at La Guitart is a blessing. Every year we always have a friend and family holiday with children. So we you want to do something where kids are occupied, because if you pay not money, you want a bit of time with your son. <laughs> so you want stuff. You know, you pay to get rid of your kids for a bit if you can. <laughs> as long as... Well, if they're entertained, it's just entertainment on and that. You know, kids are happy there, you know, they're inside. And then you've got half hour to your son. The amount of entertainment there is for them is, is brilliant. It really is good. I've taken part in a bit of dancing. That ball riding thing, that was pretty cool, went on that. Pony riding? Yeah. On a pony? Yeah. A donkey? What was it then? A little one. A little horsey, though. I like the kids' club. Well, I've only been once, but, I, well, I called in. Do you know the Minions, Despicable Me? One of the Minions dresses, dresses up as a girl, and I coloured in that one. My dad forgot to pick me up from Kids Club, and you weren't allowed to walk out on your own. Well, where was your dad? He was at the bar, surprisingly. <laughs> While the kids are easily pleased with all the entertainment on offer, the adults are giving slightly more scathing reviews. The entertainment yeah. is gets a bit gets a bit tedious, doesn't it? No, like it's the same thing every week. Like they have, they had the Lion King, then they had Abba, then they have like a flamenco show, then they have like something else, and then like this big Beyonce thing and stuff like that, and like some puppet thing. And I'm a dancer anyway, so I like to watch entertainment. Pretty good to be fair. They had that Lion King thing on, didn't they? That was our. Uh... It was all in Spanish, though, so we couldn't understand yeah, the actual word of it. The songs was all right, because they was in English, but then everything else was in Spanish, so we didn't know where, which part was which. They must have a lot of complaints about that. For copyright reasons, we can't show you any of the performances, mainly because they didn't copy it right. It's like the most... <laughs> A horrendous experience I think I possibly ever endured. And this was after a few drinks as well. They were miming along to a pre recorded script. Spanish. Yeah, Spanish script. So it was all in Spanish. Oh, Leon. In Spain. It was all just very questionable, wasn't it? it I was, mean, yeah. like. And yeah. then one of the characters was like, literally, she played grass. So she was wearing like a green dress and then had like a, <laughs> a wooden tray with some fiber, with, like, optic. fiber optic lights coming out. And like her character was, she was grass. grass. And the uh, Spanish families watching did not enjoy our heckling. So any <laughs> any time Scar came on, we boo. <laughs> uh, yeah, we got told to shush quite a lot. 
After all these negative reviews from some of the harshest theatre critics I have ever come across, it's only fair to give the guitar entertainment staff a right to reply. <laughs> At least I think that's what he said. It's not just the pigeons that love the water. Each and every day, the resort's seven pools are completely swamped by kids, adults and floating flamingos. Holiday makers are jumping, diving and bombing into them all without a care in the world. The water slides attract the adrenaline junkies and no matter how many times you tell them to be careful, they just won't listen. I didn't lie down on it and then I hit my head on it. I hit my face on the wall last time. And there's always that risk of slips and trips. <laughs> But when a jump turns into a bump, the resort's lifeguards are always close by to save the day. I am a lifeguard by vocation. I would do this job even if they didn't pay me. I wouldn't let the hotel hear you saying that. I like helping people, rescuing them, anything related with emergency. The main rules are uh, that you can use floats, you can dive in, and you can't eat inside the pool. I thought this was all inclusive. There are so many people, like 400 people, like in this hotel, you have to uh, take care in, in all the pools. Here in Spain, they love to go to bars and have drinks too. But I feel for the British is more like a routine somehow. From what I see here, they get up at 11 a.m. and they start drinking straight away. They hold alcohol to another level. They are a little bit crazy here. Unfortunately, the problems really start when we have one too many sangrias. My friend uh, told me the other day to find uh, two teeth in the final of the aquatic park. He hit a slide with his mouth and lost two teeth. He was so drunk. A colleague found them in the pool by the slides. He was OK, but in the end, he lost two teeth. The only solution will be implants. Or just not having any teeth. I have uh, some teeth of young and drunk British people. What was it? A saber-toothed flipping tiger? There aren't a lot of things that our all-inclusive resort does not provide for their beloved guests. But despite all the distractions on offer, our furry friends back home are never far from our thoughts. I miss my uh, pets. I miss the dog. Yeah, I'm sorry. I have one called Squirrels. He's a cat. He was really tiny when he was a baby, and we had to use to um, feed the milk out of a baby's bottle. Do you miss Hammy? Sort of, yeah. Hammy's a hamster. I miss my horse back home, and my little dog and my cats. I miss my dog, Chase. Yeah, I think we all miss we the all dog. We all miss the dog, but... We FaceTime my auntie, and... She puts the FaceTime over to Chase, then we talk to him. We all FaceTime the dog. <laughs> Tyler's other godmother's just as crazy as her. And the dog's at the, at the bone, licking the bone. We're we'll going to the toilet on <laughs> FaceTime. <laughs> I'll cut old Ben. But she wanted to bring him on holiday for her. It was a cemetery. She would have. She would have packed him in by oh, green arrow <laughs> and took him with us. My dogs, definitely. Whoa. They're as babies, aren't they? Yeah, they're your babies. <laughs> but I do miss him a lot. Because he is, he's very cute <laughs> and annoying. He's mental. We used to have four pets, but Toby's fish died. I buried it. I bought some new drills. I'm looking forward to getting back to them. Mm. 
Down at the lower pool, Laura and Hannah from Bolton are still having a natter. I don't really like going in the pool that much when I'm sunbathing. I prefer the sea than I do up here. Well, I don't think it's me, huh? That's it. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's why I don't like I've it. I've been in it a few times. My hair is so dry. Yeah. It's unbelievable. I'm going to have to have a treatment done when I get back. Yeah. Do you know when, you, when girls have the lip fillers in the lips? Where they have them injected. Apparently, you're not to allow you to fly a certain amount of time that you've had them done. You've got to leave it a few months. I didn't know that. I was going to have them done as well. And that's a natter of fact. Back to our London girls now, who are literally getting ready to go out. Oh, yeah, and they go. Oh, God. Now you're going to bring disco lights there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I so excited, wait. literally. I really can't wait to get there. I don't know what I'm wearing, but... This dress or this? <sighs> is it, right yeah? Here. Is it? <laughs> what she's <laughs> wearing? <laughs> Look at his mouth. I like the red. The gold. I like the red. You like the red? Yeah. You look snatched, I won't lie to you. I look snatched, but, you know... Tell me if you saw a girl on road looking like that, you're not going to come for her. Oh, but we'll go look at her. Hmm. Now everyone is ready. It's time for just a touch of makeup. Five minutes left. Five minutes. Make sure everyone's ready. Makeup, shoes, dress. Ooh, lovely, lovely, <laughs> loving it, ladies. Yep, yep, yep. Grace, Grace, you too, you too. I'm a drinker, and some of them are of their drinkers, but not that much. They're not tequila drinkers. So I'm trying to bring them in. We're in Spain. We've got to do tequila, tequila shot. Yeah, you got to drink tequila when you're in Spain. So I'm about to live my best life and dance in that club. I would like to hear a mixture of music, so maybe a bit of R&B, hip hop. To be honest, I think by the fourth tequila, you're not even going to know, you're not even going to remember, you're not even going to care what Before, song. As second. long as you hear doop, 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 your body's going to be moving, so I don't even <laughs> think you're going to care what song it is. First stop, a pre-club cocktail. One of the best things about going on holiday is the precious time spent together. See? We sped this up to prove they are actually drinking their cocktails, albeit slowly. Tequila! Did I hear tequila o'clock? And Olivia's wishes are granted. Thank you so much. On the house, how cute! Lovely. But this time, they neck it, and it seems to have got the party started. Sacado. It's night time in downtown Lorette de Mar. People are gathering for a bite to eat, a stroll in the cool evening air, and perhaps a drink or two. Friends from Bath, Gemma, Jamie and Laura, are treating themselves to a little hair of the dog after a major drink up the night before. Laura, we wanted vodka, not a, like a sample of your year in. <laughs> we stayed out until about 5 o'clock in the morning and then got back. I mean, realistically, it's going to take Laura a full day to just finish <laughs> recovering from last night. And Laura just doesn't want to hang out with us because she knows we're just going to take the mickey out of her for her escapades. <laughs> <laughs> when they're back in Bath, these three are paramedics. We do work hard. 12, 13, 14, 15 hour shifts sometimes. Yeah. And it's generally you're working four or five shifts in a row. Definitely feel a bit ruined after a long run of shifts. I arranged it all, planned it, got everyone to book the annual leave and I was adamant we left on Monday. So on Sunday, I got a text from these lot like, oh, are we still meeting for coffee before the bus to the airport? Me laughing my head <laughs> off was like, ha, 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 you're getting the bus a day early. <laughs> no, turns out I am a... Yeah. Day, yeah, you yeah, were Yeah, I was yeah. late for the, for the flight. <laughs> I had 12 minutes to pack. I have no idea what's in the suitcase. But you made it. All you in all, it. I made the flight. Made it's the fine. Flight. When they're not busy saving lives, they want to enjoy theirs, no matter where they are. Okay. Jesus Christ, that's strong. <laughs> Basically, a, a rubbish Benidorm. And we knew that. Cheap holiday, cheap drink. That's what we were here for. Daily routine has consisted of 
waking up, telling each other how terrible we feel. <laughs> I think because we've been out in the sun all day, I'm going to blame it like typical. <laughs> yeah. I think it was just uh, too much sun. Walking to the pool, melting in the sun, sweating the vodka out, yeah. starting again. Pretty much. In a bid to rein things in a bit, they're mulling over some booze-free options. We need to find something to do tomorrow. So... There's no mini-golf. <laughs> this is my itinerary of fun. <laughs> like, here is the list. Um, we've got no mini-golf. <laughs> wine tasting. That could escalate quickly. Bungee jumping. I would love to bungee jump. It's one of the last things on my bucket list. I'm for... I don't want to die, though. So they're going go-karting. The paramedics find their carts, which are just like ambulances, only smaller, with no sirens or blue lights. And, as if it's the biggest and most important 999 call of their lives, they're off. you'd most want behind the wheel is Gemma. Hey, don't hate me because you hate me, guys. <laughs> Champion! Woo! Back at the club, where our London girls are knocking back the booze and breaking hearts on the dance floor. Now they are living their best lives. A fun night out is all in a good day's twerk. But are they going to be living their best lives tomorrow? These guys are too bright. Mm -mm. So Olivia has just got out of bed to get back into bed. She very obviously needs some divine intervention. Oh my God, Jesus of Nazareth. I'm not sure the girls have remembered, but they are due to check out this morning. I was absolutely wasted. Booze! Good morning, ladies. You're a bit too enthusiastic this morning, I Let's eat. Girl, you're a bit too enthusiastic. Last night, yeah, I don't know what my life was. I don't, I don't know what my life was last night. It wasn't your best life. And I'm there like, yeah, let's drink. Like, I didn't just drink a litre cocktail, and I don't even know how many shots. But at least it was all worth it. I was lit. It was yeah. lit. Everything was yeah, lit. Yeah, it was what I expected, you yeah. know. To be honest, I think I fell over because my knees hurt. Olivia, you did fall down. I you fell did. over in it. Twice. Twice. Hey! What's my life, guys? I fell over. That is so embarrassing. Does anybody see my nash? <laughs> <laughs> I can't lie to you, I had one too, I had one tequila too many. That last tequila I had with that guy at the bar, yeah. It was the it was the finisher. See that one, yeah? It sent me to my creator. <laughs> I'm telling you, I met him last night. <laughs> Cause yeah, oh my god, I was so drunk. Okay. After that last shot, yeah. Oh my god, it's ringing. We're probably gonna go together for a while. Hola. I wonder who this is on the phone. Yeah. It's reception, reminding them that they're supposed to have checked out of yeah. their rooms by now. 
and the girls leap into life. Oh my God, no, 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 I'm not paying extra. No. I'm not, I refuse. <laughs> Get up, 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 up. Let's go, let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think you're in Africa right now? Yes, 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 yes. I'm not paying. You're not paying? Yes. You're gonna go there with your butt, we can see you through here. Oh yeah, we get dressed. <laughs> Before collapsing into bed again. I think we need to pay for it. We need to actually call them and get um, a letter check out because I'm not lying to you guys. I can't get out of this bed. You speak Spanish? Huh? Spaniard? I will speak something to them that they will understand. Different. Explain. Yeah, I can't drink today. Oops. After much cajoling, the girls pack and leave the hotel. But did they remember to get gifts for their loved ones? Well, I bought these as well. They're sangria, but I just like the how it's decorated. It reminds, it's like proper Spanish. I've got one of these as well. Oh. As the London girls head home, let's hope they had a lit holiday, built some good memories, and lived their best life. Literally. Literally. <laughs>